New leadership bring Oregon from dead last to the front of the pack when it comes to helping addicts recover. That's the goal of Governor Tina Kotek's latest appointment. Our Brandon Thompson joining us live tonight. Brandon, I understand you dug into a new direction for the state. Yeah, Annalise Dolph is the new director. Now I'm talking to addiction and treatment experts about this appointment. They say right now, Oregon needs two things. One is infrastructure, like the Behavioral Health Resource Center here in downtown Portland. The other is policy changes, and that's actually the role of the alcohol drug policy commission is to make those changes. But those experts tell me that the commission has not had a director who's wanted to do those. For the 15 years the Alcohol and Drug Policy Commission has existed, Mike Marshall has been waiting for it to live up to its intention. It's on paper been a very powerful agency. It can tell different agencies what they're supposed to be doing with authority. But he says that regulatory power has seldom been used, especially in the last five years. It comes as an OHSU Portland State report from last fall found Oregon has just half of the detox recovery and treatment infrastructure it needs to meet the demand. The problem was that we've been under capacity and there hasn't been a political priority, right? for this specific issue. The legislature has dedicated over a billion dollars since 2020 to behavioral health and addiction. This year, funding went towards buying and building detox and treatment centers. For organizations that are providing services, sometimes you're not making enough money off those services to expand. Enter Annalise Dolph, who has been serving as Governor Kotek's behavioral health director, and she has previously worked at the Oregon Health Authority. It's part of what Governor Kotek calls a reset at the commission. The state's needs of recoveries are, they need somebody who's going to take all the different agency, all the different folks and stakeholders that are involved in solving our addiction crisis and having one person in charge. For Commission Chair Vesna, he says it means he can bring his expertise to the conversation instead of leading it. The message that I've heard is one of urgency. You know, we're looking to make immediate steps forward in solving these problems. And so I imagine that those are the strategies that are going to be implemented. So I asked Dolph for an interview today. She tells me that she wants to wait until she's in that new role for a few weeks before doing one of those. Now, there are also eight open positions on the commission. The governor's office says that they're asking for qualified people to apply to those roles to help strengthen the ADPC. Reporting live in downtown Portland, Brandon Thompson, Coin 6 News.